Q1057 and 103.5, the Capital Region's classic rock station. It's Caroli, and as you know, all this week, we've been giving away tickets for Video Games Live, the big event happening on Sunday at the Palace Theater in Albany. And to get more into it and find out what it's all about, let's talk with Tommy Tallarico. How are you, Tommy? Pretty good. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's our pleasure. Now, everything I have seen and heard about Video Games Live... <laughs> Make this seem like an exciting event, but for someone like me or anyone listening who hasn't seen it before, tell us what we can expect when we go to the Palace Theater in Albany this Sunday. Yeah, so Video Games Live is all the greatest video game music of all time, played by a full symphony and choir, but what makes it really special and unique is that everything's completely synchronized to massive video screen, stage show production, rock and roll lighting. Uh, I kind of like to describe it as having all of the power and emotion of a symphony orchestra, but combined with the energy and excitement of a rock concert, mixed with all the amazing visuals and storytelling and character-driven things that video games provide. Number one, so you're going to team up with the Albany Symphony Orchestra for this show on Sunday at the Palace. How does that preparation come together? Because as you said, the music is synced with the, the video aspects of this, and how do they prepare with what your show brings to town? Yeah, it's a great question. So I send the sheet music over both in digital format and in paper format a few weeks ahead of the show. So they already have that sitting there. But what we do is everything is on a click track. So I bring my uh, conductor uh, with me. And so everybody sitting in the chairs on stage, they have a little tiny speaker that goes uh, in their ear and they're hearing a click track for the timing. That's how everything gets synchronized. But, but quite frankly, when, when you're working with, like, you know, some of the talented musicians in the entire area with the Albany Symphony, you know, they don't need a ton of, like, rehearsals and things. We're, we're going to be doing, like, one main stage rehearsal because they read sheet music like me and you would read a book. You know, you just put it in front of them and they just go through it. So one good time through the program and then we're ready to rock. But it's the click track that makes everything synchronized and, and everybody, you know, on track with each other. Video Games Live will be featuring some of the greatest video game soundtracks and songs of all time. And I know that this is hard, but give me a couple of songs you would say that you would put up in the upper echelon. Yeah, I mean, stuff that people are going to hear on Sunday with the symphony. And again, the choir. The choir brings a whole other powerful and emotional aspect to it. But things that you can plan to hear is Halo, Skyrim, Kingdom Hearts, Metal Gear Solid, God of War, oh, Final Fantasy. It really is something spectacular. And the thing is, I created the show for everyone, too. It's really important to note that. You don't have to be like a hardcore gamer to come out and really enjoy the show because the music is so powerful. It's like the best film scores you've ever heard. And we make it family friendly as well. We, you know, there's not, a, we don't show violence and killing and all that kind of video game stuff. It's family friendly, but it's the parents and the grandparents who don't play video games they're the ones most blown away because they come out and they bring their kids to the show by the way isn't it great when a you know when the grandkids are dragging their grandparents to see a symphony <laughs> yeah. um, but, but they're look they watch the show and they go oh my gosh i get it now now i know why my kids are so much into video games we're talking with tommy tallarico of video games live hitting the palace theater in albany on sunday you had this vision well, more than 20 years ago. 20 years ago, yeah. That, that's pretty amazing, because if you go back 20 years to, like, to see like the potential of combining the live performance with the songs. I mean, the video game industry alone is a massive industry. So many people, that's a captive audience. While they play, they're hearing this music, and you're bringing it to life. How did that vision come to you? How did you see the potential of performing live? So I've been a video game composer for over 33 years. So when I started in the industry, you know, it was a bunch of bleeps and bloops. And I was working on, you know, the Nintendo Game Boy and the original NES. You know, then when CD-ROMs became available in like the mid-90s, we started to do real music and record live instruments and 
people had always reached out and contacted me. I've, I've worked on over 350 games in my career, stuff like uh, the Mortal Kombat and Earthworm Jim and Disney's Aladdin and the Madden football games and Metroid and Sonic and uh, uh, Guitar Hero, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Those are just some of the games I've worked on. So, so many people were reaching out saying, hey, could we ever hear your music live? And so, I was kind of waiting around for somebody else to do it. Uh, you know, I had known all the composers all over the world who, who do game soundtracks, so I just started talking to them and say, hey, why don't, why don't we put together a show or, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll go to the companies and get all the licensing and the visuals. And so that's what we did. And the very first show I did was at the Hollywood Bowl with the L.A. Philharmonic. <laughs> I had 160 musicians on stage. And uh, lo and behold, 11,000 people showed up for that first show. We just did our 525th performance with the Boston Pops. We've performed in 42 countries around the world to millions and millions of people. That is impressive. And it all started for you in Springfield, Massachusetts, right? That's where you're from? An hour and a half away. That's right. (laughs) Springfield, Mass. When I turned 21, I got in my car and left my parents crying on the doorstep and uh, drove out to California. I was homeless for the first couple days there, uh, first couple weeks. So I was in California three days, and I was working in the video game industry, playing video games. And <laughs> You're a man that makes things happen. That's what it sounds like. My grandfather, who came here from Italy, always would always tell me, you know, if you do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So uh, that's what it feels like for me. We're talking with Tommy Tallarico. We've got uh, video games live this Sunday at the Palace Theater in Albany. Which video game do you think has been kind of the most important creation you know you can point to like storytelling in like metal gear solid from a cinematic standpoint or the artificial intelligence of the enemies in halo or you know the the amazing graphics in a game like mist in the early 90s in regards to game design you have games like super mario world you know shigeru miyamoto the creator of mario and zelda i'm a huge aerosmith fan and your last name is very reminiscent of steven tyler's uh, actual last name any relation yes yes we're cousins come on <laughs> uh we've uh yes steven tellerico so yeah i grew up going to aerosmith concerts talked to him a lot now that we're adults he's 20 years older than me he's, he's such a, a great guy such a talented guy as you know I, i'll tell you a quick steven tyler story which will really probably gone to 40 50 aerosmith shows in my life and and beforehand then he always has to do a meet and greet he'll go and i've seen him do this dozens and dozens of times we'll walk in the meet and greet room together you know it's radio contest winners and fan clubs and things about 40 50 people and the second he walks in the room the whole room lights up and everyone just boom beelines it right for steve steven oh my god i'm your greatest fan <laughs> dream on was our wedding song you know same old stories and what steven does is he goes hey he goes hey oh this is so great i want to talk to each and every one of you you know we'll take pictures i'll do autographs give me a couple of minutes and then he looks around the room and there's always two or three people sitting in the corner like terrified <laughs> right <laughs> and, and too shy <laughs> and they and he walks up to them and he goes, "Hey, how you doing? My name's Steven Tyler." Wow. He's he's unbelievable. He really loves, he embraces the fame. You know, he he loves his audience, he loves his fans. I've learned so much from him uh with, you know, not only creating the show and obviously a big inspiration musically, but um, but just from a person, a human being standpoint, he's, he's one of the best. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's you, know, you hope that of someone that you admire, and yeah, and you do yeah. hear the stories that you know that he has been that genuine guy, and it's it's nice to hear that confirmation. But uh, this Sunday, the big show, Video Games Live, coming to the Palace Theater in Albany with the Albany Symphony Orchestra. It's going to be fantastic. Tommy, thank you for your time and all of your insight on the video game industry and how this show all came together. And we're really excited about Sunday night. Sounds great. Thank you.